Is generative AI lying to us? Now we could make an entire series diving deep into this huge question, and who knows, we probably will. But today, we're compressing this topic into three powerful points that'll help you decide for yourself. First up, hallucinations. These are convincing but completely made up answers from AI models. Imagine an AI confidently citing legal cases that never existed, referencing scientific studies that aren't real, or giving medical advice that's entirely incorrect. Yes, this has actually happened, causing real harm. Companies, especially in fields like law and healthcare, have suffered major reputational damage because of hallucinated outputs. Some even went bankrupt. But the good news is that hallucination rates have dropped dramatically in recent months. In earlier generations, many of the top models had hallucination rates of up to one third. Now the most advanced models are down to one to two percent in many benchmarks. That's still not perfect. Some say even a few percent can be critical depending on the use case. But others point out that humans also make mistakes and 98 to 99 percent reliability is already incredibly useful for the vast majority of real world use cases. The bottom line always verify important information, but trust in generative AI is rising fast and for good reason. Second question. Is generative AI a creative genius or just an advanced copy machine? Here's the deal. Generative AI creates by recognizing patterns from billions of examples it learned from, similar to how our own brains combine past experiences into fresh ideas. Sure, some artists and publishers are concerned about copyright and there are still ongoing legal debates, but I think this is common whenever disruptive technology emerges. The legal frameworks around Gen AI are evolving, which is totally normal. Think about it this way. AI-generated music, art or code snippets can spark creativity and inspire humans to new ideas. It's like a creative brainstorming partner, not a replacement. You might see it as creatively recombining human-generated inputs, but remember humans also create based on patterns learned throughout life, school, culture and experience. Both humans and Gen AI produce new content by recombining known information. The key difference is human intention, emotion and consciousness, something AI lacks. So, yes, generative AI is creatively powerful. It's not copying blindly, it's enhancing human creativity. Finally, are generative AI agents just RPA bots on steroids? Quick clarification. Robotic process automation, or RPA, involves simple bots following rigid, predefined rules like click this, copy that, paste here. It's great for repetitive tasks, but not very flexible. Genai models and agents, however, are on a whole new level. They understand natural language, autonomously plan next steps, make flexible decisions, and learn from interactions. Here's a quick comparison. Input RPA requires structured data, while Gen AI agents work with messy, unstructured inputs like texts, conversations, or even PDFs. Flexibility, RPA is rigid, but Gen AI agents adapt dynamically. Autonomy, RPA follows strict rules, but Gen AI agents think strategically and handle complex tasks, from negotiating prices to researching topics all on their own. Real-world examples? Well, I've personally developed multiple customer service agents powered by Gen AI, and honestly, users have been positively surprised by how efficiently these agents handle complex, open-ended requests, with minimal ongoing maintenance required. So in conclusion, Gen AI agents aren't just better RPA bots. They're a quantum leap forward in automation technology. So, uh, let's do a quick recap of what we discussed today. Hallucinations are decreasing, thanks to new safety mechanisms, but it's still important to always verify critical information. Gen AI isn't just a copycat, it's actually creatively enhancing our potential rather than limiting it. And Gen AI agents, well, they represent the next evolutionary stage of automation, way beyond what traditional RPA could do. And one more thing from my own experience. At first, there were some significant challenges. But Gen AI technology is evolving so quickly that honestly solutions I personally developed just a few months ago became nearly obsolete. New developments are emerging rapidly and making older ones look outdated in just a matter of months. And this pace really isn't slowing down much yet. If you're curious about any of these topics and want to go deeper, just let us know in the comments. We might even cover them in future videos. Thanks for watching AI Vibes. Stay curious, stay smart.